Get this. Pat McAfee called Caitlin Clark a white bee. Ooh, I'm sure that won't sway over for some people. You know what? Let's rest on it right quick. I'm sure something's gonna happen to Pat McAfee. Some kind of punishment. The next day. Still no punishment? Nothing? Wow. Uh, I guess Sean Hannity on Fox News said something called him a jackass. But, yeah, you know, there'll probably be some, um, you know, some of these feminist groups out here might say something about it. But that's it. But no, no discipline from ESPN? That's crazy. Hmm. Interesting. The next day. Still nothing? Wow. Okay. I guess Pat McAfee is not on. I guess nothing's going to happen to him. Okay. 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 But on a serious note, um, this whole thing, this whole thing, this whole season surrounding Caitlin Clark has been nothing but a complete circus with both, I can't even say both sides, but I guess you, in this case, both sides going back and forth, squabbling about nothing. But we all kind of figured this was going to happen. Once she set for the lead. It's just everything is always at some. Everybody's at someone's neck. All the damn time. Right? Don't get me wrong. Caitlin Clark is the golden goose for the WNBA. But what Pat McAfee said. And let me tell you this right now. About Pat McAfee. I for one. I used to watch Pat McAfee's show before he went to ESPN when he was just on YouTube. He used to watch mainly, what was it, Aaron Rodgers Tuesdays, right? So, I get what he was saying. I get totally what he's saying. And I'm not really calling for his job with this video. Mm-mm. Nope. I ain't calling for it. I ain't calling for it at all. But here's the problem that most of us is having. If Stephen A. Smith... Shannon Sharp or anyone else of her darker complexion said what Pat McAfee said they would be either suspended or fired I would say most likely suspended it wasn't that long ago in two instances that I remember employees at ESPN that are of the African American race one was Stephen A. Smith himself. Was it just like almost 10 years ago? When was Ray Rice? When Ray Rice got into it with his wife. And um, Stephen A. Smith said, pretty much said, uh, both parties got to keep their hands off each other. He gets suspended for like a week. Crazy. Was it just two years ago? When Jalen Rose, in the midst of the Ime Adoka situation, um, spoke out against the narrative of this whole Ime, of that whole Ime Adoka situation, and he was made to apologize during commercial break. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that happened too. Don't get me wrong. Pat McAfee did apologize. For his use of words when it came to that uh, Caitlin Clark, and I, I don't think Caitlin Clark, I think she responded. I don't think she was too much uh, bothered by it. I think maybe she met, he, uh, she met what he meant. Oh, ah, got that all confused. I think she knew what he was trying to say. I think she got it. But uh, like I said, I ain't calling for Pat McAfee's job at all. Nope, ain't gonna do it. Nope, I like him. I like that uh, he, he don't care at all. He has this wrestler type attitude. I like it. So don't get me wrong. My only issue is is that here's a, here's a, here's a, 
here is where it's going to be taken differently and some people might not get it because I'm starting to see this a lot and we're really starting to see this a lot ever since 2020 but here it is for y'all some people out there I'm not even going to say what race they are you can kind of guess it some people out there think that African Americans get away with stuff ever since 2020 some of which is true some of it is not true in this case Pat McAfee job is safe as of now as of this video he's safe I think he as ESPN right now I think he brings too much I guess eyes to ESPN so he ain't going away they ain't firing him I don't think they ain't gonna suspend him so we just ain't gonna say that there's a narrative out there it might be a small minor narrative very small minor narrative out there that there's white man hate out there I've seen it but I think it's a very small group of people that does that uh, I think preferably the white man um, I don't want to say get wet, get away with stuff but when it comes to stuff what Pat McAfee said for example their job is pretty much safe and if we say, like I said, I had to say, if we say something like that, either we are forced to apologize or else cancel. I think that's what has been going on. That's the reality with some things out there. Now, I know some people say that Trump got all those felonies and everything. They try to come after him, but I think they're trying to come after him because they don't want him to be president. That's why the libs are coming after him but i'm not gonna get into a whole trump debate here but i just feel like we say certain stuff it's this whole evil thing they're evil they're bad get rid of them get rid of them cancel them but i could be wrong i could be wrong i could be wrong but anyways, uh, and in reality of it all, I don't think it was that big of a deal anyway. So I wouldn't expect him to lose his job. I wouldn't expect anyone of any race to lose their job for saying that. Apologize? Maybe. But lose their job? No. No. Hell no. They shouldn't lose their job for that. Not for that. <sighs> I hope y'all get what I'm saying when it comes to this. That certain people can do certain things without getting in trouble. And some people can't. I don't think there's a hate whitey going on. I think that's pretty much died off now. I think that was the thing a couple of years back. But I don't think it is anymore. It really isn't. Look at Dana White. All you gotta say is look at Dana White. Look at what he got rid of. I mean, got away with. You look at, I guess now, Vince McMahon. They've been very quiet about that. And I will mention old Giddy down there at OKC. You see how quickly that story got buried. But I ain't talking about that. And... They, they've been talking about Diddy for night and day now, which he deserves. He deserves all the scrutiny, all the eyes, bad Diddy, no Diddy. <laughs> he should. He deserves all of that. I'm not. Don't get me wrong. He deserves all of that. But the energy is just different. The energy is different. They just don't have the same energy for people like that. Oh, another one was it James Dolan? They ain't say anything about that and what he's been accused of. But but, but uh, old boy um Buffalo that got into with his uh pregnant girlfriend a couple of months back uh Von Miller oh they made sure to make a twenty minute segment about that. Oh, let me not forget about what happened with Kyrie Irving too. He shared a link and he became public any enemy number one in the sports world 
But Josh Giddy, oh, we gotta, we can't say nothing about that. It's ridiculous, and that's the point I'm trying to make. And if you don't get it and you don't see it that way, oh well, it's the way I see it. It's the way many of us see it. Things ain't just ain't the same energy around here. And don't get no, don't get me started when it comes to gender too. It really ain't the same energy, no matter what race. If a man was to do something, do the same thing as a woman, the woman would, um, <laughs> the woman would get treated with kids' gloves, no accountability at all. But if a man was to do it, they ain't make sure he go to jail, no matter what race too. But anyways, hey, before I go up, see, I don't watch. I hope I'm not rambling. I don't really watch too much TV, right? I watch YouTube videos. And one of the YouTube videos I watch is cop videos. No matter what, uh, DUI videos, whatever. And some of these videos I see, some of these cops treat these women, no matter what race they are, with kids' gloves. Treat them with kids' gloves. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. They try to, sometimes these cops try to be the friends with these freaking women. It's crazy out here. How certain energies are different when it comes to certain races, certain genders. But that's all I got to say. 